This video is presented by Print2.3D. Okay, so here's my new design for a transmitter gimbal knob. There's a company that sells uh, a design of this gimbal knob over here on the right. And they make it out of aluminum and it has a knurled finish. And it looks pretty good, but after I made my own CAD version and 3D printed it, I decided I didn't like it, so I decided to make a new design. And I'll show you why I didn't like it here. When you push down, your thumb stays in the socket, but when you push it forward, my thumb falls out of the socket. And otherwise, my thumb just doesn't have all that much travel, because I have small hands, so that's why I decided to make the new version here. So over here on the left, we have a half sphere with two ribs here and here. Once I get done with this video, I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, rubber coating on it. And hopefully it'll have more grip so your thumb won't fall off. Okay, so here's a cross section of my transmitter gimbal knob. Uh, you can see all the dimensions there. Um, right up here would be the revolve point for the uh, entire part. So I'm going to go ahead and revolve this part. And there we have the entire part. And then that is the uh, complete design right there. Okay, so I've got my Dimension Catalyst EX 3D print software opened. I'm going to go ahead and import my prototype thumb knob for my radio control transmitter. I'll go here to File, and Open STL, Desktop, and uh, No TX Gimbal Concept. As you can see there, I just opened up the uh, file. Now I gotta go ahead and orient that part, so I need to go to orientation and come over here and select orient bottom surface and click uh, the bottom. Okay, now that's the uh, the plane of the uh, build tray there with all the boxes, and this is the uh, 12 inch height. Now I'm gonna go ahead and process this. I'm going to go back to the uh, general tab over here and uh, set my layer resolution. I want it to be a sparse. Uh, I want two copies, uh, it's in inches, and a uh, scale of one to one. Go ahead and select add to pack. Okay, now there's what it did. It sliced that up into a whole bunch of layers. That's all the red lines there, and the uh, the white is the uh, support material, and the uh, red is the model material. Okay, I'm gonna go check the pack. And I want to move my parts over here, right next to each other. Oops, like that. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and click print. Right there's the estimated build time model material and such. About an hour and five minutes. Okay. The uh, part is now sent to the printer. And go ahead and select start model. I uh, just now lock the door so I cannot open it. And it has to warm up to temperature, which will probably take about uh, half an hour or so. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, we got a completed part out of the printer. And that's what they look like. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and remove them from the base here. Okay. See how it's the part of the inside here? We should rub it or something. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tap the hole. I'm going to put it on you. Okay, there we have it. Okay, so here's both of them on the transmitter. I'll show you how it works here. And there's the uh, sticks. I suppose if you're a pinch flyer, so you can do it just fine. I'm not a pinch flyer though, so... I'm gonna go ahead and put some uh, Plasti-Dip on. Okay, so I got the Plasti-Dip out here. Go ahead and take the uh, tin foil off. Make sure you shake it up good before you open it up. I okay, also have it dry here. I'm gonna get some put this on. Isn't funny? Mm-hmm. <laughs>